All right, so pancreatic cancer, it recently moved from the fourth to the third leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the United States. It's anticipated to be second by the year 2020. Also, one of the most lethal out there. It has the lowest survival rate among all major cancers. Five-year survival rate, only 9%. 9% in the United States, a pancreatic cancer expert at uh, NYU Langone, Dr. Diane Simeone is with us right now. Good to see you, doctor. It is uh, Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month, which is one of the reasons we want to talk about this. So, um, you know, what, I think one of the things that stands out when people talk about pancreatic cancer is it's just so, or it seems like, it's just so difficult to find sometimes. It's like we always talk about early detection, mm -hmm. but a lot of times you don't find it for whatever reason so early. Why is that? Yeah, you're exactly right. And part of the problem is we don't have an early detection test. The pancreas is actually hidden in the uh, upper posterior part of the abdomen behind the stomach, not easily palpated by physical exam or accessed by a scope right? Uh, like we can with colonoscopy. And so <clears throat> often is not detected until it's too late. Is there progress being made, or is there something people should know that they can do? You know, maybe he's looking for symptoms or something in the way yeah. they feel that would allow it to be detected early. Obviously, that's the key. Sure. So clearly there's some warning signs that are associated with pancreatic cancer that are important for people to know about. Mm -hmm. One is if people have unexplained weight loss, in particular if it's accompanied by upper abdominal pain, that can radiate to the back. Right. Two, um, if you have the development of jaundice or yellowing of the eyes, that's a telltale sign that there might be something wrong with your pancreas. There are other causes of jaundice, but again, jaundice associated with weight loss or something to look now, for. Now, once it is detected, treatment also has become an issue of, I don't know if debate is the right issue, but certainly of discussion. I think it came up in the public eye, at least with the Steve Jobs case years ago, and people said, well, maybe should have been more aggressive in treating mm -hmm. it as opposed to going with a holistic method, which yeah. I believe is what he went with. Mm -hmm. I mean, where do you stand on that in terms of how people, how aggressive people should be in the treatment yeah. of pancreatic cancer once they find out that they have So it. there are definitely good options we have for treatment for patients with pancreatic cancer. One is about 15% of patients are amenable to have their tumor resected with right. an operation, and you can have long-term cure with resection. So it's important to see a specialist and to have high-quality imaging of your pancreas. Even for patients that may have more advanced disease, uh, either wrapping around some blood vessels near the pancreas or spread to other sites. We do have a growing number of therapies for pancreatic cancer with an increasing uh, rate of efficacy of those mm -hmm. treatments. Now, you mentioned the survival rate is 9%, and that's slowly been creeping up, albeit still in the single digits, yeah. but I feel like we're at the uh, a cusp of a breakthrough and having significant advances for pancreatic cancer. That's just because of the research you're seeing? Or? We have a very large research community now, uh, and not only in the United States, but around the world, and we are uh, tackling clinical trials in a new way for pancreatic cancer. There's a new effort to develop what's called platform trials, where we're able to test multiple experimental therapies um, mm -hmm. uh, for patients and even offer individual patients multiple treatment options during their journey. We all, that's a, a, a new um, program nationally called right. Precision Promise. Uh, we also have the pharmaceutical industry, which in the past has not paid as much attention to pancreatic cancer as perhaps other cancers, now engaged with us in trying to really go after pancreatic cancer. Well, it's an awareness month and, you know, uh, sometimes those things are overdone or some people, but I think tonight we hope, hopefully raised awareness. It's such an important issue yeah. and hopefully people learn something. So thank you so much for coming in in person. Glad to be here. It. We appreciate it.